Hey, this is Aran Stern and welcome to this artbeats.com tutorial. In this video, I'll show you how to use the new soft matte effect in the new Creative Cloud version of After Effects to create a design theme that might work well for movie credits, title sequence, or even some kind of a TV promo. This is the final result of what we are about to create. You can see that the graphics element, i.e. the titles and those black lines integrate really well between the live video footage, giving this little spot a very tight look, as if the titles are living right inside this nature environment. And this can be achieved with a very little effort from your side. Here, let me show you exactly how it was done. We are starting our work with this wonderful shot of the koala cactus somewhere in the desert, I guess. And there is a nice pan to the left here. So what I want to do is actually split the layer in terms of its content, meaning to get a decent separation between the foreground tree here and the background. Now I want to keep all those nice tiny details, almost hair-like, as much as I can. Now we had the technology even before to do so, and this was using the Rotobrush tool here. But now in After Effects CC, we have even a better tool which work in conjunction, meaning after you apply the Rotobrush tool, and this is the Refined Edge tool. I already did a little bit of a prep work so I want to share with you what we have so far. For that, I'm going to double click on this clip from Artbeats, RCFH111206. This will open it in its layer panel. And from the view pull down menu, I will toggle the roto brush and refine edge effect, which I've already applied to this layer. Now I want to see the information of the effect, meaning I want to see its controls. So let's go to the effect menu and choose effect controls. This will show us the effect and right now I've turned it off. Let's enable the FX icon just in order to examine what we already have here. So basically what I did is use this effect and created the basic mask in order to isolate this from its background. Now this is a binary mask meaning that we have limited controls in terms of transparency and fine details for the edge of this mask. The result can be quite ugly if you are going to use it like this. And just to illustrate, I'm going to go to the beginning of this and just press on the space bar so you can get a sense of how jerky this looks. Now, we do have a couple of tools in order to improve it. And by the way, after I finished with the effect in order for it to not propagate each time from the beginning, I've frozen it. And this is the reason why we are seeing this frozen tag here. I'm going to press tilde just to show you the freeze button. This is what I choose in order to speed up the process so After Effects will not have to recalculate the results so far. Now you have a couple of options in the effect itself if you want to try and work on your mat. So open up the Roto Brush mat and you can see that we've got a feather control, contrast, shift edge and reduce chatter. Feel free to play with those and you can do it after the fact, meaning that after you've frozen the result. But most chances is that you are not going to get a satisfying result. So I'm just basically going to undo this operation and at this stage, I can do either of the two. I can run a separate refine edge tool from here. And if let's say, for example, the strands outside this bush or this tree are changing their length across time, or maybe think about hairs that are blowing in the wind and some of them are just moving away from the subject, then there is a reason, there is a logic to use this tool here. But if what you want to do is basically just use it as an effect after you already have some kind of a roto brush, maybe from your earlier work, you can apply the effect by its own. So it lives over here under the matte category. 
and the name of it is Refine Soft Matte. So double click in order to apply it to the footage after the roto brush is being calculated. And you can control the boundaries of it by changing the additional edge radius. In order to see what you are doing, you can tick this button, which will show you a color and black and white preview separating the foreground from the background elements. And this yellow outline represents the edge of the radius. And I see a couple of strands are just outside here. So I'm just going to raise it, say, to 20 to cover up most of them. Now, of course, you can raise this value higher, but I've tested it before and found out that 20 in this case is more than enough. Now, in order to check the result, you might want to come back to the composition itself and place a couple of layers in front or below. Before, just remember to turn off the view edge. And you know what? Let's also create a quick RAM preview just to see how this is behaving on its own, just to get the first impression. And this is what I meant by first impression. We can see that everything is basically chattering all around. Now, there is a chatter reduction option here. But in our case, the cause for this flickering is this option, decontaminate edge colors that is turned on by default. I'm going to recommend to switch it off and let's once again preview the same area and we see that we have a much more promising result. Once again, if there is a need, go ahead and play with those chatter reduction options. You have two options, more detailed and smoother and these are really helpful ones because they will eliminate all the other jittering and chattering and flickering that we have here. Okay, I think that we are ready to return to the composition panel and I'm going to turn off the shy switch here which will reveal the two titles I've already prepared ahead of time. I'm just going to turn them on. These are text layers that I've converted to a shape using this command over here, create shapes from text. And the reason is that I'm not sure if you have these fonts in your system. And I wanted to avoid error messages regarding layer dependency if you are working with this file. Anyhow, let's see the action. So I'm going to select my original clip and create a copy by Command or Control D. Let's place this one below everything and basically we can remove those effects so we'll have our background back in its place. Now let's go to the beginning and see it from this point. Choose the wrong way and you are a cola cactus. Oh my god. I think that it looks quite promising and those tiny hairs that are just above everything makes it look really connected, I mean the titles but we can even make it a little bit better. Let's return to the project panel and open up the source files. And here you see magically appeared a pre-comp that I prepared earlier. So let's open it up. These are nothing special, couple of vertical lines using a very basic rectangle black shapes. This is the animation. So what I basically did is set up a couple of keyframes here for their position just so they will get into the screen. Okay, now let's use this animation and place those lines and square above or below our cactus. So I'm going to copy them into memory, return to my working composition and press paste. And let's set the order. Let's say that the horizontal line and the right square will be just below our soft matte cactus and let's just test it in a couple of places and you can see that indeed it is playing along very nicely so one of the lines is going behind the bush and then the other one comes up and closes this structure okay so let's go full screen now and watch the final preview and so this is it a simple yet elegant design that integrates almost seamlessly with the great desert footage from Artwits.com. Thanks to After Effects CC with the help of course of the new soft matte effect. Until next time we'll meet, this is Eran Stern for Artbits.com saying goodbye.